Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Transformers Friday. Today, I will be presenting you with the Amazon exclusive Transformers Legacy Wreck and Rule Collection Spindle and IDW Impactor. Thank you for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across, which I hope is all of them. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, or just help the channel out further, or both, that's even better. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. With all that said, let's get into it. Let's start wrecking stuff by taking a look at the packaging. And here you can see the nice artwork on the front of the box. And it is, it's nice artwork. I, I really like this artwork. Uh, Spindle Comic Universe Impactor. And by Comic Universe, they're talking about the IDW stuff. Transformers Generations Takara Tomy. Hasbro Print, 8 and Up, Deluxe Class. So they're both Deluxe Class. Transformers Legacy Wreck and Rule Collection. On the top, Wreck and Rule Collection Transformers Legacy. On the bottom, Small Print Time Print, Legalese Print, Made in Vietnam Print, Symbols I'm Not Gonna Learn, a barcode, recycled stuff, and includes two figures, four accessories, and instructions. On this side, that Decepticon legacy artwork and authentic Transformers legacy. On this side, the Autobot legacy artwork. So that's kind of cool. Authentic Transformers legacy. They definitely want to make sure you know that this is authentic. On the back, nice product shots. Comic Universe Impactor and Spindle. Uh, Transforms in 19 steps, back and forth. Transforms in 28 steps, back and forth. And he comes in all those pieces. And let's see. Warning, attention, Nakhtung! Don't stick things in any language pie hole that don't belong there. Don't give it to the babies. Manufactured and licensed from Tomei. Some other small fine legalese print, that S thing. And some Hasbro print. That my friends, is a look at the packaging. Let's take a look at Spindle and his accessories. And the only accessory he really has is the handy dandy instruction sheet. And 8 and Up, Transformers Legacy, Wreck and Rule Collection, Transformers, Generations, Comic Universe, Impactor, and Spindle. And then you open the instructions up to this side and it has all the instructions or spindle, even how to turn him into weapons and stuff. Not that I do that because I prefer him in these dino bone modes. Now I will say the instructions, the printing is very clear. Unlike, uh, you know, sometimes they get a little blurry, but it's very clear and the colors are okay. I do prefer the kingdom colors and the buzzworthy bumblebee line colors simply because it just for me they're easier it's easier for me to see what's going on with those brighter colors so there's that let's take a look at the figure in his alt mode and i will say this is an issue with mine at least is that this keeps coming out so not Super pleased with that. But as far as he looks, you know, the colors are kind of odd for bones, but, you know, it works. And he's got that silver on his teeth, but not on the bottom jaw. So that's, you know, a missed opportunity there. A lot of deco here on this piece. And... You know, I mean, the shapes, it's mostly, well, I won't say mostly, but it's a lot of reuse from 
paleo tracks with uh, just some additions to it. So, and then he's got the Autobot Wrecker symbol right there. And most everything is molded in color. There's a little bit of paint, like there's some paint down up in here. You know, some paint apps on this and the T tier and the Autobot Tampo. And let's see how he articulates. Now it can move up and down a little bit there at the neck. The jaws, you know, open up like that. So that's a little weird looking. Um, the upper part of the head will turn left and right, but the, the lower jaw doesn't turn with it. So that's weird. Um, the little hands here will go 360. They'll go out a little. They'll go in a little. And that's about it. It will spin some right here, but I don't think it's really supposed to. The tail will go up that high, down that far, but it also does 360 degrees, so you can make it go up that far as well. At the hips, pieces falling off, but you know, you can do the splits. 360 degree rotation and because he's you know fossilizer he does come into pieces but articulation here at the knee and you can even get some extra bend out of it there if you want to and then when these pieces are in place it will spin 360 degrees tilts up tilts back and it's got some tilt on the toes, but no rocker. But, you know, you can make do without the rocker with the twist on these double mushroom pegs that keep falling out. And the tilt. So, I mean, there's plenty of articulation to go around on, on these fossilizers well there it is folks a look at spindle and his instructions it's time for alt mode comparisons and here we have him with deluxe class kingdom paleo treks and deluxe class generation selects transmutate And here he is with the Skelivore from the Kingdom Spoiler Pack that came with another Siege Megatron and the Kingdom Core Class Vertebrake. Here he is with Kingdom Deluxe Class Rectonite and the Hasbro Pulse Exclusive Generation Selects Deluxe Class Tricranius. Kingdom 
Deluxe Class Wing Finger and Kingdom Core Class Dracodon. And for our last set of comparisons, here he is with the Amazon exclusive Leader Class Earthrise Generation Selects Alternate Universe or Dead Optimus Prime, the Titans Returns Legends Class Bumblebee, and the IDW Comic Universe Impactor, which was the character that came packed in this Wreck and Rule 2 pack with Spindle. Welcome to the comedy portion of our show, ladies and gentlemen, where I attempt to transform this transformer. And you know, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and just kind of start pulling parts off of him. these pieces and flip that back and you know if you've done paleo treks or anybody on that paleo treks mold you pretty much know how this guy goes back together that comes off too Adjust these arms here down by the sides. You want this piece facing forward. And then with this stuff here on the inside, just go ahead and attach that stuff back. Go ahead and kind of close these up. Then this piece here. Just close that down and then this kind of I said it does. Maybe it don't. Well, maybe that's as far as it goes. Let's see. Yep. It doesn't lay all the way down. So, okay. So there's that piece, and then this port here goes on this pig. And then you take this piece, and this piece, and there he goes, an arm, I think. And then this piece and this piece. No, oh, I got them backwards. So, right, there it 
There's that arm piece. He's gonna fall over, of course. And this just ports in here. And then this whole assembly ports in there. And then this piece plugs in right here on the hand. And then the last piece is this. I like to call this like a battle mask because that's kind of what it looks like to me. But it just plugs. You see that port right there on the chest and there's a peg on the back of it and it just plugs or ports right on in there. And there, ladies and gentlemen, we have Spindle all transformed. Let's take a look at Spindle in his robot mode. As you can see, you know, paint apps are exactly the same as they were on his alt mode. There's how he looks at from the back. So, and then this part still wanting to fall off. I don't know what I can do to fix that. Maybe I can stick something in there. I don't know. But, you know, I mean, if, again, if you've done any of the guys off that Paleo, paleo Trex mold, then you, you know what this is, you know. Alright, the head. He can do the full exorcist. He looks up that far. And he doesn't really look down. And let's look at that face. I don't know, for some reason it reminds me of uh, Baron Karza from the Micronauts. At the shoulder, go up that far. And on the other side, about the same. Um, full 360 degree rotation there. You know, he's got some swivel. 360 of swivel here at the elbow and you know up here too the elbow gives you a little better than 90 degrees and then at the waist a 360 degree rotation at the hips they give you the splits plus he kicks forward this far and kicks back that far and it does swivel around right there at the upper thigh and at the knee swivels around you know it bends there about 90 degrees doesn't really well it bends forward just a slight Bit. and then just below the knees there's this hinge and tilts that way and that way or rocks that way and that way rather and he just doesn't want to stay together at all there we go ladies and gentlemen a look at spindle in his robot mode. All falling apart and stuff. Now it's time for my favorite part of a review, robot mode comparisons. And here we have a wreck and rule spindle with a couple of other fossilizers on a similar body type. We have Kingdom Paleotrex and Generation Selects Transmutate. What a creepy, creepy little bot. As you can see, there's a lot of reuse going on with this mold. And here we have Spindle with Kingdom Core Class Vertebrake 
and the Kingdom Spoiler Fossilizer figure from the, the Megatron and Skelevor 2-pack. Skelevor. Here's Spindle with Kingdom Deluxe Ractonite and Generation Selects Hasbro Pulse Exclusive Generation Select, excuse me, um, Tricranius. He's the one that came with all the blast effects. Here's Spindle with Kingdom Core Class Dracodon and Kingdom Deluxe Class Wingfinger. For our final set of comparisons, here's Spindle with Titans Returns Legends Class Bumblebee and the Walmart exclusive Netflix War for Cybertron Trilogy Earthrise Leader Class Optimus Prime. For final thoughts on the Wreck and Rule 2 pack deluxe class fossilizer spindle, I have to say this was the bot I was more excited about with this 2 pack. And it really left a lot to be desired. These loose uh, wrists that keep wanting to fall out, it's really really disappointing uh, the face sculpt on this guys it's okay but it's <clears throat> it's almost like and, and I don't mean to be offensive when I say this but if you ever look at old comic books or cartoons from the 40s where they depict Asians and just, you know, it's like a caricature. And everything is like super exaggerated. But that's that's kind of what this reminds me of. And it's, it's a little disappointing. Um, I don't know if anybody else sees that when they, when they look at this. But, you know, I'm, I've read some of those old comics. And they're not... Uh, They're not real nice with, with their depictions of foreigners in general. And don't get me wrong, I understand that at the time that was a thing because the Japanese were the enemy and all that. But, you know, and again, like I said, I don't mean to be offensive to anyone when I say that. But that's just what the head sculpt on this, the, you know, the big teeth and the, 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 the face... It just, it kind of reminds me of that, and, and I'm sorry to say that. But fortunately, at least for me, I will put this guy back into dino mode, and that's how he will be displayed, and I won't have to look at that offensive face ever, ever again, hopefully. No, that's untrue, because I'll have to have him for that other Wreck and Rule 2 pack uh, for some comparisons. Well, that does it for the review. I hope you enjoyed it. 
only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more of you, or just help the channel out further, or both, that's even better. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.